All right, uh, what I'm going to do is go through the way I got my uh, two gigabyte SD card to work. I'm going to go through some of the, the details. I'm using a slot, an SD card slot from the 3.2 inch um, TFT LCD. It's a touch screen. Um, and the schematic for it is here. Uh, so the SD slot on the LCD is on top. Um, down here at the bottom, there's six pins you need. No matter what your tutorial says, if you're going to do uh, run this, uh, as you can see, it's not. I'm, I'm using jumper wires. I'm not using um, a shield. And the shield is a, kind of assumed in the sketches um, and, and the answers that people give to why is my SD card not working online. Well, the ground must be connected, and the VCC is 3.3 volts. Okay, these this is what's actually the connector here. Um, as you can see, there's uh, try to get into focus there. There. Uh, so on the right hand side, you have the SDDO, SDCLK, SDDIN, and SDCS. Now, obviously, it's uh, SD stands for the card, uh, the DO is uh, data out, uh, clock is, uh, CLK is obviously clock, DN is for data in, and CS um, it corresponds to, um, a sec, let me get the software up here, pin 10 on the Arduino right here, the CS is for the chip select. Um, I think the Adafruit has, or sorry, uh, Ethernet Shield has it as pin four. The Adafruit SD Shield uh, and module is pin ten, and the SparkFun SD Shield is on pin eight. So, anyways, these are the voltages. If you're having a problem uh, with it, these these are on the board. These resistors, uh, and sorry, it's there's also one kilo ohm resistor. So. Um, these are the actual test voltages uh, when I tested it here on these pins. These are what I actually saw on my voltmeter. Uh, some of them do not correspond directly, so there's obviously something in here that is adjusting this voltage. This voltage does not correct, connect directly to pin 5, but in the module, uh, it obviously does something here that uh, is not on the schematic diagram. Anyways. Uh, I got different voltages on the uh, uh, CS, the in and the out, um, 2.9, you typically range from 3 volts to 4.5 volts, but I found that in all these ranges my card still worked. Um, the key is you want to connect the ground, you want the VCC to be 3.3 volt, 3 .3 volts on the input. Okay. Uh, if you test the clock, uh, it will be low, unless you uh, unless you initialize it. Basically, it's it it selects it. It's it's a pulse. So when when any action from the uh, microprocessor uh, is happening on that um, SPI uh, line, then it the the chip select will go high and then back to low and so the normal state of this pin, pin 6, is going to be low. I'm going to show you the actual shit, the inside, this is the inside of the SD card as you can see there's a, little, a processor here and obviously this is uh, where the data is stored. So just so you can see that and also I wanted to uh, show you on the PDF. This is for the SD card itself. Um, kind of the general uh, block diagram inside the SD card. The as far as formatting goes, the I used a Windows formatter. The quick format uh, did the job. Uh, and when I uh, I'm gonna pause it and, and put my uh, SD card in my computer so I can show you how, what I did there. Alright, so here um, is the SD card right here. You can see it's uh, it's uh, blank uh, and I click the format 
and then the fat default is actually going to be 16. Uh, so I won't format it um, into a 32. You have to tell it if you want it to format it into a fat 32, but the default is 16. Uh, then I put default allocation size right here with the quick format and formatting this card just so I had no problem reading the card. So some, some, some people online say, well, don't use a Windows formatter. I haven't had a problem with it yet. So um, there is a recommended formatter, and I'll show you that online. Uh, they tell you to use this guy, which is SD Formatter version 4.0. Actually, they say 3.0, but uh, this is the newest version. Um, and so, you know, you can use this one. You download it and install it, or you can use the Windows if that works for you. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and run the program, uh, the sketch, and upload it. So it'll just take a second to do that. Okay, so as you can see on the top left, card info is the sketch I'm using. Um, and when I, and so you want to, again, change this um, chip select to whatever pin uh, is for your device, uh, whether it's the Uno, uh, the Mega is, I believe it's 53. Um, let's see. Yeah, see here. Pin 53 on the Mega. Um, and so you're going to have to change that depending on what your device is. So uh, let's see here. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, here in the code, you should see it says um, 10. Uh, pin mode 10 is an output it it has to be an output uh, or else uh, the card won't work and that's why they they they, uh, they did that anyways uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I already loaded it onto the Arduino I'm pro I'm clicking on the serial monitor and here we go initializing SD card All right, this is take two. I actually, you actually have to have the SD card inserted in the slot. <laughs> so that was why the initialization failed. But it was a good, good way to show you when it failed, uh, what it looks like. So uh, wiring is okay. Blah blah blah. Uh, wiring is correct and card is present, and so it'll show you the details of the card. So that is a clean formatted card, and I use the Windows formatter to do it. So I uh, hope this video helped uh, for anybody trying to get their SD card up and running. Yeah, thanks.